baby, when I tell you, you cannot play a good person. People that are genuine and have pure hearts, you can't play us. What ends up happening is you just play yourself. And many of us with pure hearts, we actually know what's being done. We just don't say anything because we choose love. We also want to see what it is that you would rather do so that we know what you want to do. We trust the signs. We believe in the actions, not the words. And we still show grace and we still choose joy. Now listen, the pure hearted folks in the 3D, there might be some times that we suffer. There might be times where we miss out. There definitely might be times that we're overlooked and we're certainly going to experience injustice. But let me tell you what healing does. Healing allows us to get to a place where we understand that whatever it is happened for us, not to us. The negative things that we've experienced have informed us of who not to become because we've tasted that pain and we know how that feels. It's fortified us as well because there have been many times that we could have popped off. There could have been many times where we could have lashed it out and not loved it out. And yet we still chose to remain balanced and centered and in integrity in who we are. And even though our lights have been dimmed, we refuse to dim the light of others. If you are someone who is genuinely kind, not nice, kind, and has a beautiful spirit, hear me when I say this. Not doing them how they have done you is what is going to keep you blessed. Loving it out rather than lashing it out is what keeps your light intact. Showing grace and forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. Because some of those pains that have been sent your way have, one, been to fortify you, two, been there to test you to see if are you really somebody that resides in love, and three, it's there because we live in a fallen world and these type of things happen, especially to those that are a bit more empathic and kind. And the reason why it happens to those that have the beautiful spirits, those that are kind, those that are led with integrity, those that are lovers, is because if you think about this experience being a matrix, right? A lot of times if you have seen the movie Matrix, you know that Neo had agents on his ass and those agents were there to attack his light. And that's just kind of how the game is, is that the more light that you have and the more kind that you are and the more that you're striving to stay in alignment, the more things come against you. That doesn't mean that you need to go to the other side. What that means is that you need to fortify yourself, stay prayed up, stay around like-minded folks, guard your light, and peep game. Know that when negative things come up against you, it is not personal. Again, it's there to teach you of who not to become. It's there to fortify you, and it's there to test your love endurance to see, are you really about this love life? Are you really about this light life? And I know on paper, sometimes it looks like we miss out or that there is injustice or that, damn, the, the kind people do finish last. That's not the case. I personally have helped a lot of people, people that wouldn't even dream of helping me. And I've seen some of them go off and get married and have children and seemingly have this happier life while I am here on my journey. And if I were so hung up in ego and I was so hung up in the 3D, I would be like, well, damn, they're married and they kind of left me in X, Y, and Z ways and I'm still recovering from the, no, we're not doing none of that. What I realized is that connection that ended that was toxic, it needed to end. That person was in my life for a time and that time had to end. And if that person hasn't healed, then their new spouse, their new partner has inherited what God saved me from. And none of that is my business. What is my business is to bask in the gratitude that after all that I have been through, I am still in my right mind. After all that I've been through, I am sitting in my home that I own. 
After all that I've been through, I've become the mother that I once needed and the advocate that I once needed, the adult that I once needed. There's been sicknesses and accidents and really negative things that have been diverted from my life because my heart is intact. I am grateful. So it's like clap back for what? Lash out for what? Seek, you know, revenge for what? So for my kind folk out here, remember, you didn't get played. You just got realigned back to your purpose. Let them have that. You keep your heart intact. You keep your light. I love you so much.